Here's an SPSS tutorial on how to make a new variable from existing variables in your SPSS data format. And our example is going to be, we're going to try to measure job engagement from employees. Here's the SPSS sheet. Value, let's see what that goes for here. Let's go ahead and stretch this out. Uh, rates, how valued a person feels at work. The second one is love is how much a person loves their job. And the last one is how excited they get when they wake up in the morning to go to work. Hmm, crazy. But let's go ahead and check out the different values of each variable. And so value number one, which is the how valued they feel at work, right? One is they they feel very valued and five is they don't feel valued at all right so these are Likert scale values and I believe they're all the same right here is the love so one means they strongly agree that they love their job and five means that they don't and how excited they get same thing they one is they very excited and five is they're not excited at all so but if you'll notice that none of these in itself, none of these IVs in themselves will tell you exactly how engaged a person is when it comes to their job. So we're going to go ahead and make a new variable by going to transform, compute variable. Once this box pops up, first thing you need to do is name your variable. That's the target variable. We're just going to call this engagement. And now we're going to tell SPSS what to do. First thing is we're going to take the valued variable, click it into the box, numeric expression box. We're going to hit plus. We're going to click the love variable, click it into the box, and we're going to hit add. And then we're going to take the excited variable, put them in there. So now we have all three there. Let's go ahead and click OK. We really don't need this output sheet because we haven't done anything yet. So let's click off of that. But back on the regular data sheet, we should have a new variable. There it is right there, engagement. So let's go ahead and see what the data looks like. There's our engagement right there. So what it does is it adds each of the IVs up and we get a grand total. So in other words, low numbers with this example mean that somebody really likes their job, they feel valued at their job, and they're excited to go to work. While the high numbers, like down here on the bottom, is just the opposite. So whoever this person is doesn't feel valued at work, doesn't feel the love, and is not excited to go to work. But you can tell by this new variable, the engagement variable, which of your workers is feeling engaged at work. So you can make an arbitrary cutoff with these values. Example 10, anybody that's less than 10 on this engagement variable would be considered engaged to work. Anybody over 10 would be considered not engaged to work. But that's how you make a new IV. That's how you make a new variable in SPSS. MGZ out.